it's kind of counterintuitive but I believe the the more you cut the more productive it is which is weird isn't it I think if you left the more you left the better it would be but it's not that's not true it's the more you cut well that's just biblical <laughs> I guess so Wanted to share with you guys uh, how we prune our grapevines, and uh, I'll start with showing you kind of what I did last year and, and what happened, and then uh, I'll show you and, and explain what I'm doing for this year. So, if you come over here and look a little closer, you can see like right here is where I cut it last year. So this branch came out here, kind of like this one is doing. And I cut it right here, and there was a bud here and a bud here. Kind of like, here's a bud, here's a bud. That's what that was last year. And you can see that's where the fruit was at. So you basically want to cut it back close to the main vine. So here's the main vine, and you want to have one or two buds off of the main vine. And you just keep going. So. For this year, I will probably go in here and cut this one completely off because it was just crowding that too much. And then um, there's a bud. There's actually a bud there, there, and there. So I think we'll just start over with this one and just have one bud coming off of that. And so this year, there will be a, a branch that comes out right there and kind of goes that way. Um, so yeah, you just do the whole vine like that. You just trim it back to one or two buds at each point, and that's where it will set fruit. And it's pretty quick once you get started and know know what to look for. It goes really fast. So here's uh, I might have left that one last year for some reason, but I'm gonna take it out. I'm not sure why it's in there. Cut this whole whole thing out. And then we'll just go down through here and uh, just cut it back so that there's a bud or two on each branch. You want to do this um, in early spring, right before the uh, the sap starts running and the and the leaves start coming off. You can see these are are getting pretty close. The little buds are uh, just about to pop open, and that's the best time to do it because all the uh, all the life is coming back into the vine. And so when you cut it, it just makes it uh, makes it heal faster. And produce produce better you can see we had a lot of grapes here last year all these little clusters here are where the grapes were and that was the second year on this part of the vine so I just took um, you can see how big this is this has been here for probably who knows how long 20 years so I just took a main limb uh, trained it down this this wire so this is two years old here you can see here all the sap is already running out from where I cut earlier that's how the plant heals itself
grapevine will uh, become unproductive if, if you don't prune it. It'll start, um, you'll just have branches and leaves, there'll be no fruit, which is pretty cool. It takes basically pruning every year to have, have the best crop of fruit. I know some vineyards, I've noticed that they prune them in the summertime. I've never done that, but I should read up on that and see if it's worth doing or not. I would imagine it helps with the fruiting in some way. I remember last year I had this thing pruned in like 20 minutes. Whole vine. I think it's cool the closer you cut back to the vine, the, it, it's like it starts over. Like I could cut it here. I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if I can find it. Like here. I could cut it right there and have, I would have a new branch come off right there. So instead of having all these branches, I could cut it there if I wanted to start over. Sometimes you have to do that when it's a really old uh, branch. I've had to do that over here some. Just to kind of start over. It's like a, a muscadine, and, and I guess it's a black scuppernong because the I think the brown ones are scuppernongs, and these are these are black, but they taste like the brown ones. We've got a bunch of grapes down there too, but I'm gonna let those. Um, I'm not gonna prune those. I'm going to try to let the, the limbs um, touch the ground. If you let this go all the way to the ground and cover it up with some dirt, it will form roots wherever there's a bud at. And you can dig it up and transplant it somewhere. It's pretty shaded down there. That grapevine is really shaded, so I want to take it out and move it off. All the ones on the bottom get shaded out, so it's usually good to just cut those off. It was just using up the, the vine's energy that can be used up top. Intuitive, but I believe the the more you cut, the more productive it is. Which is weird, isn't it? I think if you left, the more you left, the better it would be. But it's not. That's not true. It's the more you cut. Well, that's just biblical. <laughs> I guess so. It makes a lot of sense, yeah. actually. Yeah. Grapes last year. Remember all the grapes in here? They were good too, weren't they? 